here we are entering Kanaskat Palmer State Park out here in the foothills of the Cascades. Here's the state park entrance. Here's where we get our senior pass. Right here. Okay, well, we uh, just got our off-season senior pass at the ranger station here at Kanaskat Palmer State Park, the foothills of the Cascade. So we're going to go explore the park here and bring you guys along with us. We're going to first go and uh, drive through the camping grounds they have here, which are very nice. And then we'll go down to the lower level, which is uh, where picnic grounds are, fields, and trails to the uh, river that kind of go around the edges of the park here. So let's get on our way. Hey girls, Kate, Sarah, there's Sarah. Where's Kate? Is Kate laying down back there, Sarah? Yeah, you guys just want to get out. Okay, we're gonna go through the campgrounds now. Like I said, it's just another typical Washington winter day. Gray, drizzle, rain, everything's one color except for the trees. They do have several yurts out here. I've gone into them and they're really neat looking. Uh, the ones I saw had log bunk beds. And they were really nice. And as you can tell by all the moss out here, it rains a lot. That's why it's so green up here. Because it rains and rains and rains. Camp host there. Believe it or not, this place is over half full. There's some big cedars and dug fir out here. That's what makes it so nice. But you have to remember we're in the foothills of the Cascades which get lots of rain in the winter. Just like other areas. Okay. Let's go down to the lower part where the picnic tables are and the paths to the river. Here's the uh, park information here. Tells you about the river. It goes all the way around the camp here, around the state park. And it's really nice. That's what I like about the uh, state parks up here in the foothills. They're on lakes or rivers and out in the middle of the mountains. It's awesome. Well, here we are on the trail. First trail off the main trail down to the river. It's pretty bumpy. Lots of moss on the trees up here. With some good rapids over there. Yeah, Sarah, you see the birds. Sarah sees those birds and wants to go get them. Don't you, girl? Huh. Okay. Let's, uh, just don't trip me up, kids, okay? Whoa. <sighs> These, uh, bare rocks here are pretty darn slippery. 
I'm gonna get down here a little. Maybe I can get a better view of the rapids over there. There's a a nice fall drop over there. I don't know where the kayakers are. My friend Pike said that he saw them come down here and they were in the parking lot. Or they must have gone lower or higher on the river here. Let me see if I can zoom up over there. There we go. That would be a blast. Both in a kayak and a rubber raft. Not a toy raft, but I mean a big one. I was a river guide for a friend of mine for one season down uh, the Wenatchee River in uh, big self-bailing boats that carried uh, eight people plus me as the guide. And that would be a blast to go down. Got some good fishing here too, I guess. Yep. Having them tethered together helps keep uh, Sarah under control because uh, it slows her down. She has to carry Kate. Huh, you guys sniffing all kind of critters out here, huh? Lots of moss, lots of moss. So, we're going to go back up to the main trail here and uh, continue onward to the end of it. Okay, we've uh, joined the main trail again. Come on, Kate. Good thing I put on my boots. Hiking boots. I believe there's a small hatchery across the way there. That's where that gate is. Kind of a weir of some type. Okay, guys. And Oh great, now it's starting to hail. Got a sign here. Once in a while, a couple times a year, people kill themselves not paying attention to signs, thinking they're impervious to danger. Uh, apparently they're not impervious to stupidity. But there's uh, a couple of parks along this river and I wanted to take you to one more park that's out here. That's along the, that's on a lake. So, we'll find out. Ooh, oh, it's wet out here. It was hailing when we were at that one spot on the river just a moment ago. And as we pulled out, there was a huge fifth wheeler and a big class A checking in for the campgrounds tonight. So, I'm going to let the dogs... Stay in here for a brief moment of time. They already got their walk down to the river and that. And I'm going to walk around here real quickly and show you what this state park is like. I like bringing my kayak out here to this lake. Bring a sack lunch. Uh, paddle out in the middle of the lake on a nice summer's day. And just rest and relax. Watch the offspray coming out of the trees, out of the hills. Fishing maybe an occasional bald eagle or two. And at the very far end of this lake is a uh, little inlet that I used to be able to kayak into that had huge, loud, loud, that had huge, largemouth bass. And it's got a family of uh, pond turtles. Well, over the years, they've blocked that off to make it its own separate little pond where no one can go back there and interfere with the... Uh, the little area but the the lake trail does go around it and there's a bench there where you can sit and watch with binoculars all the turtles and the biggest turtles in the pond up there are about uh, dinner plate sized shells there's about seven of them so here we are Nolte State Park 
And this is uh, the lake, deep lake, that I bring my kayak out and paddle around on nicer days. And it's quite nice. It's really great having these two great state parks so close to bring the dogs out and walk them around the lake or uh, bring out my kayak and just paddle and enjoy, get some good exercise. So, the path starts out blacktop to those far trees and then it's gravel all the way around the lake itself. At a leisurely pace, it can take 45 to an hour uh, to walk around it. The trail is all gravel, well maintained. It has a little rises and falls in it because it's following the contour. Well, let's go down here. You can see it's got quite a large picnic area and a playground far over there. But let's walk over here and look down at the beach. They have a a roped off swimming area during the summer and they have a uh, fishing dock of course you can take many trails down and uh, fish along the edge anywhere here's the beach and during the summer like I say they'll have a, a ring area off the beach here for swimming. Here's the fishing dock down here for kids and at the fish off. And little doggy poop station so people are reminded to get their bags for their dogs. So we'll go a little ways here one and a fourth miles pets on leash they got another little area down here just an area to sit and picnic table look out over the lake really nice and uh, some of these things look like giant spiders ooh man we get under the trees it's not so bad even if it stops raining, there's so much water held in the moss and the heavy branches. It's like, instead of little raindrops on you, there are big raindrops on you. But the trail is just like this, all the way around it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>